Thank you very much, Steve. Really appreciate all three of the producers joining us today and sharing your, your experiences uh, and insights. Uh, next, I'd like to turn it over to uh, Sakab Mukhtar, who's going to talk about some additional sources of information that you can use. Sakab? All right. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, it's uh, raining in Texas, and what a good day to be talking about uh, inspection and inspection checklists uh, to keep our runoff where it belongs. Uh, I'm just going to quickly go over some of the resources that may be of help to uh, the folks who are looking for extra, extra information, although I think our producers and our inspectors and others have done a tremendous job of uh, explaining what record keeping and inspection means uh, in the context of having a, a better environment both for CAFOs and the, and, the, uh, and the people around us. So with that, first of all, let's look at our inspectors. Now, our inspectors are also state inspectors who have seen uh, the very good and not so very good, and also we have federal inspectors who have seen different systems at di in different states. So we should count on uh, the experienced ex inspectors' experience and get some input from them and take it as uh, a, a guide. In, 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 in most cases, they are very helpful, and you've heard that from, from three of our producers. Uh, we also have uh, different states and different uh, federal government agencies have inspection checklists that may be pertinent to just your state or your area or a certain type of operation. And then we have, uh, of course, our university extension services, which I'm part of also, that have uh, fact sheets and other information available online, offline, on in, in uh, popular press and whatnot. We also have the USDA National Resource Conservation Service uh, folks who, who have guidance on mortality management, on uh, proper management of lagoon, uh, proper design of lagoon, uh, using other BMPs that may help us uh, reduce pollution of our uh, air and also our, our waters of the state. And then, of course, uh, the technical service providers, they are a great resource uh, because they have also not only uh, been to many, many different farms, but also have gotten the training that they need on comprehensive nutrient management that involves uh, keeping, keeping runoff uh, where it belongs and also keeping our air and, and water clean. Uh, in fact, we did some training at a national level just uh, two weeks ago for technical service providers, and they also get that training through, uh, uh, through the, their own state consultants. Also, of course, EPA it has several uh, web links that have information on, on, on these uh, checklists and, in, and, and inspection uh, information. So first of all, let's uh, look at some of the university extension type uh, information that we have. If you look at the the one that I have uh, already s sort of bracketed up, USDA co uh, Cooperative Extension Offices, you can go to this website and it will actually show you uh, this entire interactive map of the U.S. and you can just click on any one of those uh, states. And for example, in my case, when I clicked on Texas, uh, it took me to our AgriLife Extension Service and it has information on each and every county where we have uh, extension offices and we can reach a specialist there and ask specific questions related to uh, uh, inspections and, and checklists uh, or, or any other uh, popular extension uh, material that is available for our benefit. Uh, also, somebody did bring up the Heartland Regional Water Quality Program and uh, they also uh, help us with different types of publications, and one of the publications was put together by Dr. Rick Kelch up in Nebraska, and that publication, if you go onto this website, looks like this. And again, this is a detailed publication. It's a general publication. It's not state-specific, but it serves the purpose. It gives you why is this publication put together, what's in it, and gives you several tips on some of the things that were talked about earlier this afternoon by inspectors and our producers. There is also the Animal Feeding Operations Virtual Information Center, and this is if you wanted to know where is your uh, state regulatory uh, uh, office and, and there are other sub-offices or regional offices within your state, you could go to this site 
and this is an EPA website that takes you to uh, each and every state's regulatory agency's website, so you can click on it and go to the state that you want it to. And again, as I mentioned earlier, we have extension specialists who are putting articles on this popular press, and this is the one from Dr. by Dr. D.N. Meyer, a dairy specialist up in uh, UC Davis, and she's put together this information on how to survive an EPA inspection. So there are some, some good pieces of information, for example, in this fact sheet also that may be of help. And last but not the least, we also, uh, the, the uh, Livestock Poultry uh, Education Center that has uh, provided this webinar today, who's hosting the webinar today, they have excellent information through e-extension and the website address is uh, given here. And at the bottom where I show the green arrow, uh, you can go to this particular uh, example for records and inspections and pull that information out. There are many other uh, excellent pieces of information on this a website on e-extension that discusses uh, record keeping uh, checklists and keeping our waters clean and, and keeping the runoff where it belongs and proper waste management and nutrient management. So with that, uh